What you're about to hear is a voice note sent to me today from someone in Janine describing what's been happening there for the last six days. I've changed their voice so as to protect their identity. The situation in Janine is, is very horrible, beyond any imagination. This is the sixth day and Janine under a very strict siege and the hospital and the medical uh, centers are they're under the siege and this is not possible for even people who are having treatment for cancer to have uh, treatment on the, uh, the hospital. And many people, many families being uh, kicked out of their houses and the army to buy their houses. And this is the most horrible thing that people, they fleed not only flee, just they being displaced and this is another nakba for our our people here in Jenin and people they are living in very very bad conditions without without having any even the basics like food water or electricity or diapers or medicine or milk for their children so it's a call for the international community to come and to help and to live the siege that imposed on over the destruction on, on, on infrastructure is beyond any any mind can imagine that uh, what's going on. And all our life is paralyzed and it's very dangerous to move or to go and to, to have to practice our daily life. We are just like in a prison. There are 320,000 people living in Jenin uh, district, uh, governorate. And more than 100,000 people, they are living in Jenin, uh, Jenin city and the refugee camp and also the surrounding area. The incursion is not only in, uh, in the uh, center of the city and the camp, also it includes the uh, surrounding villages. Today there is a new crime committed against one of the people who's 50 years old. They arrested him yesterday and today they sent him back to the hospital, uh, he was cuffed and died. Yesterday they killed three children. They were riding a motorcycle just to distribute uh, food and bread uh, to the families who are in need. Just they are kids in the age maybe 15 or 16 years old. So it's a, it's a call for the international community to intervene and to help and to stop this massacre and genocide against our people. 18 people have been killed in Janin and the surrounding villages in the last six days. And that's just one town in the West Bank. This is happening across the West Bank. Journalists are being shot at. They're trying to run them over with the bulldozers. Most of the damage done to the infrastructure is by the Caterpillar D9 bulldozer. Now the drivetrains for these, we know, are manufactured in Shrewsbury in the UK. These machines, part manufactured on British soil, are responsible for war crimes. Tearing up civilian infrastructure is a war crime. Targeting a journalist is a war crime. David Lammy, Keir Starmer, you need to call an end to all of this.